Hi everyone, this is Jackie Cooper with Crypto Mom 2, and I am really excited to have two special guests on today. We are going to be uh, talking about an area that I am exploring called non-fungible tokens. And before we get started, I wanted to always say that these shows are not financial advice. If we're talking about anything financial and you have to invest and do your own due diligence and research because the cryptocurrency world and the blockchain world is exciting and there's so much going on. Um, so today we are going to be talking about art and how um, individuals can become involved in the art and how the art can actually support organizations and, and others. So um, I want to welcome both of you on. I'm going to give you the opportunity to introduce yourselves and um, and share a little bit more about your background. So how are both of you doing today? Great, how are you, Jackie? Doing good, doing good. So who's gonna be first to introduce? Nice to meet you, Jackie. I think Giacomo should go first. Okay, Giacomo, uh, why don't you introduce yourself and um, tell a little bit how you got into the NFT world. For those that are on the podcast, you're not gonna see the wonderful art that is behind him. For those of you that are on the talk show, on the visual, um, there's a changing screen with all this movement and just wonderful imagery. So um, so why don't you, I, I know I keep talking, I will, but I want to, you to go ahead and, and share more about your background and how you got into this world. Thank you, Jackie. That wonderful art that you refer to is mostly entries into a contest that was inspired by all the empowered artists that have entered the NFT space. I've been hearing or had been hearing a lot about NFTs and I heard a lot of pushback and people were complaining that the NFTs used a lot of energy. Oh. And I've got or have three grown daughters, adults that I put through college and I decided at one point in time to open up energy scholars to help students that were interested in the energy industry where I spent most of my adult life with uh, grants and scholarships. I figured I got my kids through school, I wanted to help some other people. And when I heard about the pushback on the NFTs, I recognized right away that the NFT artists could combine carbon credits with their NFT so that immediately the public relation or the public perception could be better for the artist. And the artist is so empowered with the NFT because the creation can live on the blockchain for their lifetime. And as it, the artwork changes hands, the NFT artist has the opportunity to collect continuing royalties. And I've been a creative most of my life. So I decided to jump into the NFT space, put some things on OpenSea and assign all of those royalties and sales, by the way, to energy scholars. And so I envisioned this program called Carbon Credits to the numeral two college credits. And with the help of Amina, We've started to get the message out in social media and we developed a contest so the NFT artists could participate with a JPEG image of their NFT, their fans could vote on it. The votes become a donation to energy scholars. Then the artists have the opportunity to win Ethereum. The top 10 artists will win Ethereum and we're gonna retire a metric ton of carbon for each winning artist. So 10 metric tons will be offset at the end of the contest. The NFT artists can enter between now and the end of April. And then the voting period is May 1st through May 30th. And if it's successful, we plan on additional contests, maybe focusing on specific genres, maybe NFTs that are in the music or the sports mm -hmm. arenas. That's, so that's brilliant. That is just brilliant. So oh, yeah, why don't you, uh, why don't you share 
the link and where people can, we're going to try to do that more than one time during the show. So why don't you go ahead and share the link where they can go right now to explore. Um, you had mentioned OpenSea. What, where do, would you like them to go? On OpenSea, they can visit Carbon. Amina, what's the best way for them to get that on? Amina handles all my social media. She's wonderful. Maybe she should introduce herself and then talk about the link. Yes, that would be awesome. Without fail. Yeah. <laughs> that, that'd be great. <laughs> well, I'm Amina, uh, Amina Bech, uh, short for Amina Bechirovich, and uh, Giacomo and I got connected through a friend of mine, Lena, who uh, works with Giacomo in Rhode Island. And at that time, I had just sold an NFT, and I was telling her all about it. I was like, you really got to get into this. This is like what is going to be the new way that people do things. Like it's like the whole, it's a whole new future, uh, futuristic platform. And she was just not all about it. But then like a couple of days later, she calls me to say, hey, there's somebody who is really into the NFT space and he would love help with social media uh, creation and development and promoting. And so then we had a call and, you know, I, we have Giacomo Barchi. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Giacomo Barchi. It's Giacomo Barchi at Giacomo Barchi. So if you go to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, you uh, look up Giacomo Barchi and you should see it in the screen there. And from there, you'll see uh, links, which will take you to OpenSea. It will take you to the contest. Uh, it will take you to the website, which is Carbon Credits to, to number two, College Credits. So Carbon Credits to CollegeCredits.com. And it's really an amazing opportunity for college kids just because um, like the movement that Greta Thunberg has started with the, the yeah. fight, it's just been so inspiring, but like it, for her, I feel like for this generation, for my generation and the generations that come before me um, or after me, the younger generations, even the younger generations, <laughs> uh, they will be very much impacted. And I think we need to do a lot more in order for our children and their children and their children to be able to thrive. And I think that's uh, really important to target this generation, like generation that is learning. I agree. And I also, what I'm excited about is, um, you know, the use of the technology to help others, as well as to um, be creative, you know, because, um, and I see that as a teacher in school, um, during this time of, of COVID, we did a lot of virtual, um, we've done virtual teaching. Now we're back in a hybrid mode. But my kindergartners are so much more tech savvy yes. than they mm -hmm. are with paper and pen now. And mm -hmm. so I have half of my my children in on Zoom because their parents are keeping them home, which is fine. And the other half are in my classroom. And so it's like they are able to navigate so fast. And yet, and so it's important to stimulate that creativity, just like if they were using the, the pen and paper crayons you know, and kind of blend the two. So how does someone get into doing NFTs or non-fungible tokens? How does an artist, if they've never done this before, where would you say that they want should go, especially if they're interested in either promoting or joining the contest? What would you recommend? I found it was very easy to take a physical piece of art or any subject matter, create a digital image. Mm -hmm. And then there's several programs online and you know everyone knows Photoshop to begin with, but there are other platforms as well where you can manipulate that traditional digital image and create something new. And what I enjoy is creating something new out of traditional iconic images, whether it's from the horror movies or the sports industry, because those, images that are kind of echoing in our lives. They're out there somewhere and we're building upon them. And I like to br bring them out of that echo chamber and bring them back to the forefront and re-examine them and really try to bring out why they become so impactful in our society. So what, 
when you um, did the your first one, what was the first step? You get a once variable. I, oh, I'm sorry. Once I created the first digital image that I was happy with, I was able to watch a tutorial online. Ah, okay. They told me how to access OpenSea. And it was a pleasant <laughs> surprise. Once I was in OpenSea, it was one day just to kind of sign up and become yes. a creator. But then after that, I could load up multiple images, multiple videos onto the platform. And then I could take those addresses and push them out onto various social media channels. But you become very busy very quickly. Creating can be time consuming, especially if you're trying to do a quality work. Yes. And that's when um, Lena was kind enough to introduce me to Amina and she's been helping me get my message out while I can still create and, and we can brainstorm together about how to get the message out like we're doing with the photo contest. And what I like about the photo contest is the artist retains the ownership of their NFT. They just submit a JPEG and then they tell their fan base about it. And within the contest, there's links to their collection and so they get free exposure, an opportunity to win Ethereum, and the opportunity to retire some carbon credits. And if we can really get people signed on to this idea of retiring some carbon credits through energy scholars, they get a double payment for their effort because not only do we retire the carbon credits, but because I've been in the energy industry and I find the, carbon, find the carbon credits cheaply, I'm able to retain some of the value and help students that are interested in humanitarian efforts. Now, this might be too technical, but how do you, how do you re, and I might not be using the right word, how do you retire those carbon credits? How, do you, how does that work? Certified carbon credits are tied to projects. So um, someone's building a solar farm or geothermal, or they're doing a waste to energy project. And there's organizations that certify that the carbon credit is reducing the carbon in the atmosphere or the output of, of mankind. Once that is certified, there's platforms online where you can go in and buy the carbon credits. And basically what I'm doing is I'm buying the Forex. I'm giving the artist the opportunity to retire them in a tribute to their NFT. Uh, when we retire the carbon credits, the certificate number is attached to a grayscale image of the NFT. So it's really kind of like secondary collectible. It's minted on OpenSea. And uh, the difference between X and what the artist pays funds energy scholars. That's awesome. That's awesome. There's so many ideas pouring through my head right now. I think that you had mentioned something about wearable. I saw a little. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I like to keep like things very simple because I know a lot of information can be super overwhelming in the space. And so I just did like a one, two, three, four uh, steps like for beginners. And basically like the very first thing to do is to get a Rarible and OpenSea account. Uh, if you go to Rarible.com uh, or, or I'm sorry, is it Rarible.com? It's at Rarible.com and OpenSea. Uh, that will be the first step. Then the next step would be uh, to connect a crypto wallet, which will, which you can do through MetaMask. And then there are various grants for new, uh, like for new NFT artists. Uh, basically, if you are minting your first NFT, there is a grant. Uh, if you go to grants.art, uh, where you are able to get uh, the the minting of the first NFT for free, uh, so they provide that grant. And then after all these steps, you can then design and then have it out there for the world to appreciate. So what you know are you for? <laughs> that, that makes it so easy. And as I mentioned, we were talking before we started the recording, I'm going to be doing an NFT to help my aunt who's 75. So I will, I just, you know, wrote down all these steps and I'm going to be doing this with her so that way she can see the process. Um, and we'll go in and we'll look about the grant and see, um, you know, how we can get all this accomplished. And then 
um, you know, the three of us can come back and maybe, I don't know if she'll feel comfortable being on, but we can explore maybe, you know, the NFTs that I'm able to create on her behalf. That would be very exciting. And also we'll do follow-up, um, you know, episodes on how the contest is doing and uh, feature things like that. So go ahead. And I, I want to make sure that, because we, we we've been talking for just a little bit, I want to make sure everyone knows how to connect back. So why don't you go ahead and mention the best way to, again, the social media link so people who are listening are able to write it down again. Yep. So it's at Giacomo Barchi, that's G-I-A-C-O-M-O-B as in boy, A-R-C-H-I. Uh, if you go to that um, if Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn, you'll find all of the necessary link for the uh, contest, uh, which is my.360photocontest.com uh, backslash carbon credits to college credits. So we, that will be much more uh, easily accessible uh, off of the social media platforms. And we're very responsive on social media as well. So uh, just reach out to us that way. And you can also find me at Amina Betch, that's E-M-I-N-A-B-E-C, uh, I actually just posted uh, the four steps that I talked about uh, for those starting out in the space. That's great. So um, because of, uh, I wear so many different hats, but since I have a love of travel, and even though we've been temporarily paused, where are you, uh, you guys based? Um, and uh, you tell me a little bit more about your locations. I'm in Greenville, Rhode Island. And we're known for our beaches here in Rhode Island. Ah, awesome. <laughs> and, awesome. Uh, since I was very young, I spent a lot of time in the beaches. And uh, for a bit of my youth, I used to race sailboats. And that was a lot of fun. And at one time during my creation uh, phases, I created a game called Race for the Cup. It was a oh, yacht wow. racing game. And I created a grid over an ocean uh, image and the sailboats were a little, uh, I silk screened that grid onto canvas and the sailboats were cast in brass and it all rolled up into a ditty bag and the sailors loved it. And when the America's Cup was in Newport, the game sold quite well. And then the America's Cup went to Australia and we were able to sell it there too. Now you'll be able to do it on the NFT world. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really, really enjoying the NFT world. It's it's such an opportunity to send out um, interesting messages. Mm -hmm. For sure. And where are you located? I'm in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And uh, here, I feel very uh, surrounded by technology and technological advancements. I actually live right between Harvard and MIT. Oh, so yeah. Kind of, yeah. I feel like that energy is just abundant around me. It's hard to like avoid it. And um, it's, it's very interesting. I think uh, in regards to like what you're wanting um, in life at the moment. Uh, and I think for me, this intellectual stimulation is really important. Uh, and also the beautiful Charles River with the Longfellow Bridge, and it's just walking distance to Boston. So yeah, I love I love Boston. Yeah, it's beautiful. I I um, did a road trip up there uh, many years ago, so um, for sure can't wait to get back on the road and um, see America again. I love <laughs> everything that you guys have been talking about. Um, any last minute things that you want to share about the contest or about the art? I know this is the first of many conversations we're going to have, but uh, for those that are listening, anything that you want to share? Get on Clubhouse. If you're not on Clubhouse, there are many uh, communities uh, who uh, are focused on helping out uh, in the NFT space and, and helping promoting and, and helping onboarding. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend getting onto Clubhouse and also find us on social media. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And for everyone who's uh, listening, 
Um, definitely, you know, like and subscribe to all the links that were mentioned today so that way you can keep up. I know that I'm on LinkedIn and I keep seeing all your wonderful posts of your images. And, you know, every day there's a there's a new picture for me to to see and explore. And so it's 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 beautiful to see the art. Um, anything else that you would like to share? Are you from Baltimore? I am in Maryland. I'm 30 minutes outside of Baltimore. I'm more I'm closer to the uh, College Park University of Maryland uh, from a location perspective. Um, and I've been in the Washington area for um, uh, over 20 years. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, I love the area because I love it. The, um, the, well, the climate is changing, so I can't say Southern climate anymore because we just had very cold days yesterday, <laughs> but I like the international flavor, you know, and the museums and um, the, uh, you can, you can drive a little bit and get mountains or you could drive a little bit and get beaches. So I like the, the fact that there's a lot of variety in terms of the scenery and there's a lot of parks. Um, I love the fact that Washington's a plant city. Um, you know, there's just, there's a lot to explore. And, and when I went overseas um, to France and other locations and then I see the architecture and then I come back here, I realize we have a very beautiful country and we have yes. very beautiful cities. And, um, you know, uh, we go away, but sometimes we don't explore our own backyard, you know, and, and that's why uh, I love the idea of road tripping around the United States, so. If I could add one final thing, if, if yes, this please. final getting close to the end. The, uh, the contest is a real opportunity for NFT artists, especially new NFT artists, to have a new place to showcase their works. And it's no risk, it's fun, and they get a chance to win some Ethereum. Don't miss the opportunity, it's only to the end of April to enter. Um, and win some I Ethereum prizes. <laughs> I think we can look forward to some new contest in the future too. I am super excited. So I know that this weekend I'm going to be uh, working on my first NFT so I can submit, <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you know, definitely. And um, again, everyone who's listening, make sure that you like and subscribe to all the links and um, support the, the, the whole concept because I think it's a really important idea to um, help our climate and help support students and help support the, the blockchain and NFTs. I mean, again, there's a lot of creativity in this area. So um, thank you both for being on and I look forward to our next conversation. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us.